7,000 miles from Egypt, the dense jungles and rugged mountains of Colombia contain a vast number of archaeological sites. Many treasure hunters believe the legendary city of gold, El Dorado, lies hidden here, somewhere under a thick canopy of trees. While the mythical metropolis has never been found, early in the 20th century, tomb robbers searching along the Magdalena River stumbled upon a gravesite dating back 1,500 years to a pre-Columbian civilization known as the Tolima. Among the funerary objects found there were hundreds of small two to three inch gold figurines. Many of those looked like insects and fish. However, out of those hundreds that they found, they also found about a dozen that are eerily reminiscent of modern day fighter jets. They have a triangular shape, they have an upright tail fin, stabilizers, and a fuselage. And they have nothing in common with anything similar in nature. Could these gold objects really be proof that Earth has been visited by ancient aliens? One of the objects shows uh, typical swept wings, like with a, a modern aircraft. And if you compare it uh, to something like a space shuttle, you see that the, the basic uh, wing shape is very similar uh, to wing shapes for uh, high-speed aerodynamic bodies, like a space shuttle is. There is not a single insect in the world which has got its wings at the bottom. Now, when you exclude the possibility that it's an insect, one of the things which remain is the fact that this is actually, yes, what it looks like, a plane. In 1997, German aviation experts, including Algun Inboom and Peter Belting, set out to prove the speculation by building a scale model replica of the Gold Flyer, fully equipped with landing gear and a working engine. It was rather simple because we don't need to put much parts to this shape because this shape is perfect. Everything was already done by the native people 2,000 years ago. They did not add an inch or remove an inch. They just essentially blew the little thing into a larger size. I mean, this is sensational that pre-Columbian culture knew about aerodynamics. Once completed, the remote-controlled flyer took off down a makeshift runway and flew. When you see this thing taking off, you really feel that this is the real deal. It was a very successful test and uh, showed us how perfect ancient people were working out aerodynamic design what uh, shows you that there must be something happened. We are not quite sure how it did, but that it did. This is applied science. This isn't just thinking somewhere. This is people going out there and making sure and proving, what I still see, anybody can see this, that this is real, this is genuine. This little thing which sits in the museum could fly. So we have two examples from opposite side of the planet and both examples are aerodynamically sound and they fly. So to suggest that all of this is coincidence, I mean, after a while, even coincidence no longer makes sense. Could the ancients have seen actual entities like ancient gods, ancient astronauts, actually flying around in what amounted to modern aircraft.